Do you guys hear that? That's that's my life. So I apologize for that, but <laughs> my dog is playing with his toy, and um, so that's gonna be there. Sorry. It's late here, but I'm excited because earlier today I bought a new kitchen toy, and as you all know, I cannot wait. So, if you're new here, welcome. I'm Serenity. Welcome, welcome to my life. We go over super easy vegan recipes as well as other holistic tips. So, if that's something you're interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Be sure to hit that bell button so you're alerted for all of our weekly videos. And if you find this video helpful, Give it a like and give it a share. We're gonna have a lot of fun. It's gonna be pretty fast. This is a no bake recipe. So we're gonna make a cheesecake. We're gonna make a vegan cheesecake. I don't know what flavors I'm gonna do yet. I, I love chocolate and vanilla together. So I think I'm gonna do one chocolate, one chocolate vanilla. So stick around to the end of this video so you can see what kind of make because <laughs> I'm just gonna go with the flow and see how I feel like I said I have never used a spring form pan before that's what I bought and you you almost can't believe it right I've been cooking for 30 years and I've never used one there's no real reason I just I never had one I, I never was interested in purchasing one it just was never a, a part of my kitchen Today, it's a part of my kitchen, so stick around. Let's see how easy they are to use. I'm sure you're familiar with them. If you're not, spring form pan is just a pan that has a spring that the sides are, can easily come off. You'll see we're about to do it right now. So, um, yeah, that's it. Let's make some a vegan, creamy, creamy, vanilla, chocolatey cheesecake. It is seriously almost midnight here, and this is what we're doing. Let's do it. So we're gonna start by making the crust. We're gonna put some raw almonds in the food processor, pulse these a few times. You really want some big chunks in here still. See how there's some big chunks hanging out in here? It's gonna be the crust, so we do want texture to it. Go ahead and put our dates. Pulse this up until the dates are combined. Here it is. We'll add some coconut oil in here. Cacao powder, of course. A little pinch of salt, just a dot of salt. Again, all the ingredients will be listed below for a full description, check that out. So you pulse that up until you have a nice little graininess. And like I said, this is for the crust, so you definitely want to have some texture. I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla extract because I want a little bit more flavor in here. Okay, so right now, taste your food. See if you want to add any flavors. Make sure this has some texture to it. You want it to be kind of big crumbs for the crust. So these are the two Springform pans I bought. They're both different sizes. If you're using just one, this recipe would do great for about a nine inch Springform pan. I'm just gonna split what I have here amongst these two and have two different sizes. So I'm putting this mixture at the bottom and then we're gonna push it down really, really hard. This is gonna make our crust. Really put time into it, pushing it down extremely tightly. Once you think that you're done, do it some more. <laughs> we gotta get this crust really nice and tight all around the edges. Push all around the edges, in the middles, all around, up and down, over the rainbow. <laughs> And once they're nice and tight, we're just gonna throw these in the freezer for about 10, 15 minutes or so while we get everything else ready. All right, well those are in the freezer setting a little bit. We're gonna use the food processor again. I don't rinse it out or anything, I just go ahead and use it again. These are soaked cashews. I soaked these overnight. Again, see the description below for exact details of this recipe. It was super simple, I just soaked them overnight. Here is some full fat coconut cream.
some maple syrup, a little bit of a coconut oil, cacao powder, super healthy, so many health benefits. And we're gonna mix this bad boy up. And when I say mix it up, I mean really, really, really mix it up. I stopped, I pushed the sides down a little bit. Okay, like I said, mixing this up is no joke. Taste it, please taste your food and add anything that you'd like. I want mine to be a little bit more rich in like the chocolate flavor, so I'm gonna add some more cacao powder. You guys, I mixed this for about seven minutes straight, so between seven and 10 minutes is how long you wanna run your food processor. I know that seems like a long time, but you really wanna get this as creamy as possible. See the creamy texture we have here? This is about seven to eight minutes in. Get a little closer here, see how creamy it is? This would work really well in a high-speed blender as well, and it would take a lot less time, but we're hanging with the food processor today, so now that I have it tasting how I like, I'm gonna go ahead and add this delicious, heavenly liquid right on top of our crust that we had setting in the freezer. I'm just gonna split it amongst my two pans here, but again, if you're using one pan, of course, you just do one. And I give them just a slightly tap down on the counter to make sure all the liquid is nice in place with no bubbles. And we're gonna put the chocolate in the freezer that we just did and let that settle. Meantime, we're gonna make our vanilla. So in my high-speed blender Vitamix, I put cashews, water, coconut oil, maple syrup, vanilla, coconut cream, a couple other amazing ingredients. I let this run for a few minutes and we have the most creamy, delicious vanilla you've ever had in your life. It's so yummy. I just have to stop really quick right here. Like, this is so delicious. Like, if you love vanilla, which I just don't even understand how you couldn't. It is creamy, vanilla, like rich. This is delicious. Like you could put this over fruit, dip your strawberries in it, put it over oatmeal, put it all over your face. So for my small one here, I'm just going to put some of this delicious vanilla heaven on top. I'm gonna just put a couple little spoonfuls. Actually, I think I'm just gonna put a bunch of it. <laughs> I was gonna just do like a couple dots, but let's just go for it, right? If we're making cheesecake at midnight, we're gonna go for it. And I'm just gonna put a couple little globs of my chocolate mixture on the top because I want it to look like a pretty little design. I'm just gonna put a couple of these chocolate drips and I'm gonna use, you can use a toothpick, but <laughs> um, you could also use like a sewing needle, <laughs> anything that's really thin and sharp. And I didn't notice my hand was in the way of the camera, big old monster hand here, but all I'm doing is taking my toothpick and kind of pulling on the chocolate parts. So I'm just sticking my toothpick in and gently pulling off to the sides to make a little stretch mark kind of design. And then back into the freezer. So here they are out of the freezer. For the spring form, all you do is open the clasp here and give it a nice little shake. If it doesn't want to release, get a butter knife and go around the edges really as close to the pan as possible. Keep it really nice and tight and then just be patient and get your creation out of that pan. 
these look so amazing oh my gosh chocolate vanilla creamy goddess right here hit that like button if you are loving this cheesecake so i love to decorate my food for two reasons you eat first with your eyes right you see it and you're just like yes please so i like my food to look amazing and beautiful and delicious and it has to taste the same way so i'm gonna decorate this up a little bit i think i'm gonna melt some chocolate pour it over the top and that's exactly what i did so in one little baggie i put some extra vanilla that i had from our mixture the other one i melted some chocolate with some coconut oil see the description below for the exact measurements and i'm just gonna poke a hole in these bags i just used a needle to poke the hole and I'm just gonna drizzle over the top. I used a needle because I wanted this one to be really, really thin lines. You can use scissors and cut a little hole in the corner as well. Whatever makes you happy. But I just want some little drizzles, so let's drizzle it up. Am I the only one that wants to put my entire face under this bag right now? <laughs> oh my goodness, look how beautiful. It's so creamy and delicious. I just, I just can't, I, I can't even. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so, so much for being here with me today. This turned out amazing. It, it speaks for itself. Like, I don't need to add any words to it. The creamy, delicious amazingness is just like stunning. I don't even know what adjectives to use. Again, thank you for being here. The question of the day is, have you ever used a springform pan before? And if you have, what the heck did you do with it? I look forward to hearing about it. Again, please subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you be a part of our family on here. Hit that bell button so you're alerted for all of our weekly videos, and I will see you guys next time.